Hey guys, this is the 696 baby, and uh, today I'm gonna show you how you can, uh, you know, uh, cheat, uh, uh, make a kind of uh, space, and uh, you know, add uh, some text to it, and make something pretty cool. And I, I'm just I did a quick render for you, just uh, just to see what we're gonna make today. So I just made a quick scene, and uh, this is how we're gonna, you know, a cheat, uh, cheat uh, look of space. You can sure use uh, use uh, particles, but you know, particles always uh, heavy on the on the computers, and uh, some of you don't have really fast computer, and they just want to cheat uh, uh, a lot of uh, space. So this is what we're gonna try to make, and this is another also uh, test I made earlier. You know, but I guess it wasn't that great. Well, you know, you can change the colors, you can, you know, play around with it and make your own thing. It's really up to you. But I'm just going to show you how you can, you know, uh, just make a, a, a make the space look just using a few, you know, stuff comes with the Cinema 4D. And I'm going to leave a link in the description for the project if you can't uh, follow the tutorial. Now, this tutorial is not about uh, making intro or making you know put in tags and making stuff so, but I'm just gonna add this future to this uh, uh, gonna add this I mean the um, you know stuff to the, this tutorial just to make it uh, interesting you know so I know you guys just love making tutorial uh, intros and all that so I'm just gonna make quick scene for you so I'm just gonna delete it and uh, I'm gonna go ahead and add uh, my graph uh, text which is text, uh, text object by the way, I'm using uh, Cinema 4D R12. You can use 11.5 or 11 or whatever Cinema 4D that you're using. And I'm just gonna position it in the middle and just gonna keep the font. Just give it some depth, about 50, 52, 55, really up to you. And I'm gonna write uh, text. All right, something wrong here. Text. All right. I'm gonna keep the same. I'm not gonna add any uh, what you call it uh, caps to it or anything. Just gonna keep it the same. Make it simple. I'm gonna add the uh, black material to it, or you can add any material you want. It's really up to you. And uh, what else we can use? Actually, let's play around with the material. Hmm. Let's make luminous. Let's make a, a gradient. And. Let's make it actually. Yeah, let's open the gradient and let's use circle. I want it the other way. Actually, not this way. Maybe this way. Yeah, like so. I'm just gonna drag the black to it. Like so, and you know it's already been dragged. So let's just hit render. Looks pretty cool. Mm, not not liking it. I'd rather keep it black. Anyway, I might just want to add some glow to it. Just you know, make it look interesting. with the color intensity alright just a bit just a hair looks good to me and I wanna go and grab um, go to plugins uh, use a script X breaker and make the pieces to 10 by the way you can find this uh, plugin and uh, Nitro Man website I'm gonna leave a link in the description for his website you can download it it's for free and I'm just gonna hit break. And it's done. Let's grab our pieces. And we 
which is going to drag them out of the null object and let's go to my graph and grab fracture object select the first piece and hit alt select the last piece and it's going to select all the pieces for you drag it to the uh, fracture object delete the rest we don't need them go to select the fracture object go to my graph grab a uh, shader effector and shader effector go to parameter and check the scale and check the position and the rotation make the rotation put the following uh, numbers 300 by 300 by 200 just give us nice rotation and uh, in the Z position make it minus 3000 which is gonna make it go like let's say for example behind us and go to fall off and make it a box and now we're just gonna resize it like so I'll play with this make it a make it yeah, like so and now if we just move the shader you're gonna see our text coming back you know forming you know like that like so and you know pretty cool stuff let's make our time to 250 go to the first uh, you know zero time the timeline set a keyframe move the our shader to the right like so uh, go to the end of the timeline first to 250 and you know move it and set a keyframe so it's gonna be a sport like this like so pretty cool shit you know you can write whatever you want just write in text just for example uh, the toy is not about uh, making you know intro or whatever and hold old G call it text and let's grab uh, a light and make the visible light to volumetric volumetric and go to noise and set it to visibility and make the soft uh, I mean the type to wavy turbulence and now let's move our light I'm gonna go to the top of view and I will move my light to about here so it looks good to me and I'm just gonna hit render quick render let's go here and I'm just gonna go quick render as you can see it's white and not the sexiest stuff ever but we can play with that I'm just gonna scale it and again I wanna move it to the back more don't be stuck in, in the text just about here looks good and I'm gonna go change the go to general change the light to you know kind of blue whatever really up to you you can play around with the colors and I'm just gonna lower it down about 90 something like this I'm gonna do a quick render right now uh, more suitable but too dark Maybe I'm just gonna light it a bit, like so. It's gonna take a bit time to render because I have I don't know, a lot of project to render. I have uh, Snow 4D 11.5 uh, rendering intro for some client, and he's expecting the intro today. All right, so this is how it's gonna look like. You know, I'm just gonna, I'm not gonna let it render the whole thing. I'm trying to make this tutorial quick and easy and uh, simple. I'm gonna grab a sky object, I'm gonna drag to a uh, HDR image, right click on this and the uh, sky object, Snow 4D compositing, uh, Snow 4D tags compositing, and uh, and check scene by camera. Give us nice reflection to our uh, text. And then I'm gonna grab uh, a sphere and I'm gonna resize it to about uh, 670 and I'm gonna make the segment to 220 and I'm gonna grab uh, explosion 
and drag it to the sphere and make it to about uh, 81 let's just check and play with the speed a bit just a bit just a hair like so and I'm just gonna make a quick render just to see what's going on if you having a problem with them you know the with the because we cheat in the star effect using uh, 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 explosion and sphere and if you have a problem you know it looks uh, kind of uh, black you know like like here as you can see it looks black uh, we can fix that by just adding a uh, material to it yeah, stop. And I'm just gonna make a quick material for it. Okay, Cinema so 4D is lagging now. Too much stuff for it, too much. And add it to the sphere. That'd be pretty cool. I guess we're done. And uh, I'm gonna make a render actually from the region. And you can see, I kind of fixed it. Still, we haven't some of them. Uh, it looks better right now. You can see it from the back. We have some nice uh, kind of uh, star going on. Uh, we can also fix that by adding a light. Okay, and go to uh, uh, parameter general, general uh, coordinates basic uh, scene exactly scene. Uh, let me just. Uh, Make sure that everything works for you and drag the sky oh. and we're gonna select it and lock it drag the the sky to it and the text to it and yep we'll be good to go so it's gonna light our uh, uh, what you call it uh, sphere only our sphere and it's gonna give it a white look to it and we can just, you know, brighten it, you know, like so. So we don't need this one anymore. And we can do a quick render and check what we have. Kind of fixed the problem. Looking good for me, looking good. As you can see now, they most of them white, like so. And yeah, pretty simple guys. I, I hope you enjoy this tutorial and just want to teach you how, you know, you can cheat uh, kind of uh, space uh, going on and you can, you know, add your text to it with the, with the effect that we did just now. You know, text broken and it comes and shape back, you know, just using shader effector and uh, broken text. Pretty cool stuff, I guess. I hope you like this tutorial, and uh, if it's helpful for you, uh, please uh, uh, feel free to like the video if you want. If you don't, then you know, don't. And uh, you can see a nice glow effect going on. We have, and uh, yep, yeah, that's about it, guys. And uh, if you have a problem following this tutorial, feel uh, I'm gonna leave it the link in the description for uh, the project. And if you have any question, feel free to you know leave me a comment and I will get back to you when I can. Thanks for watching guys and peace.